So here we are in our Moodle 2 looking at the home page of the module Introducing Person-Centered Practice. And if you remember I suggested there was information in the column here on the left hand side, information in the column here on the right hand side. Most of the information is in this center column. So how to make that bigger or smaller? Let's just go into a PowerPoint here, which shows the two most common layouts. If you're in a Windows computer, try Alt plus or Control plus for altering your browser size. If you're in a Macintosh computer, it's Command plus for making the browser bigger. Command plus for making the browser bigger and Command minus for making the browser smaller. So let me just go back into Google and I'm now going to do Command plus and what you can see is that it makes that center area bigger. So here we are in the center area. Now each page of this is organized with important module documents. These all link to other parts of the course, news forum, and then a week by week introduction. So here we are in week one, your first week here, September the 19th, and it says visit Moodle frequently and start by looking at the weekly meditation and then how to access the printed resources. There may sometimes, in fact quite often, be directed learning activities. There's a reading guide and there may be other things to discover too. So if we come back up here to this home page, if we click on any of these links it'll bring up another document. Let's just see if this works. I'll give it some time to load and I'm just going to bring the page down slightly. So here we can see a document that's loaded and if I hover my cursor over here I can print it out, I can save it to disk or hard drive, I can center it, I can look at the whole page and I can download it here. To go back to the previous page you come up here and you click the back arrow and give it some time to load and here we are. So one of the things I want you to do before next week is to explore all these links. Depending on the speed of your internet, you will be able to load these quickly or you might have to wait a bit of time. So here's another document you can download or you can watch directly from the screen. Where you see something underlined like this it means that's a web link and if I click on this now and wait it should take us but it doesn't to another site. What you can do is you can download this as a PDF file by clicking download there. It'll download onto your computer and then you can explore it much more thoroughly. So that's our second short video showing you how to access parts of the module on Moodle.